JC Santana coming to you from the Institute of Human Performance, and we are going to react to some stuff that's on the internet, and you just got to look. I don't want to react and tell you that this is nonsense. I want to explain why it's nonsense, okay? So let's take a look at the latest that I got. Obviously, this is from Europe. I believe it may be Russian, okay? And here we are. We see a gym with a flexible bar and some weights. We see people doing Olympic weight lifts and bench presses with very little weight and a flexible bar, pretty much like if it was a fishing bar, right? Okay, so this is, this is wrong on so many levels. Okay, let's say that they could say it's about vibration. Let's take one thing at a time. Well, it's vibratory stimulus, okay? It's vibratory stimulus. The vibratory stimulus that seems to work for elongating muscles and exciting the central nervous system is about 40 hertz. And that's been established by Bosco and Giardinelli way back in the days. 60s and 70s, it was getting developed. 1990s is when the uh, studies get published. And 40 hertz seems to be the magical hertz. This is not 40 hertz. The blade that many of you uh, use with some of your throwers and whatnot is 4 hertz. Okay? That may be okay for stabilizing or um, rehabilitating a shoulder. But this, they're using Olympic lifts. Olympic lifts for unstable, wobbly stuff. If you're using Olympic lifts, it's because you got two feet on the ground, you're using maximum load that you can use at a high velocity, highly technical, and you're developing power, four times velocity, force times velocity. That's power, force times velocity. You cannot have force with this. Stability. The definition of stability is resistance against position changes from external forces. So uh, a, a pyramid on its base is very stable and it's balanced by definition. The same pyramid balanced on its point is balanced but not stable. What you're looking to develop is stability. You need force and transmission of force through joints and through systems in order to develop stability. Okay, this is not stability. This is absolute garbage from a vibratory standpoint from a force production standpoint, from a power standpoint, and from a stability standpoint. Garbage, garbage, garbage all the way around. So this is why I selected the 500 and change exercises that we have in Perfect Trainer. Because I wanted a personal trainer to look at this and go, hmm, I don't know if it's effective. Go to the application and say, is it here? If it's not there, I'm not telling you that it's not good. What I'm telling you is it's not necessary. We have developed world champions. We have developed uh, medalists in the Olympics. We have developed some really badass people here, rehabilitated back, and we've been running a successful gym for almost 25 years with the exercises that are on the perfect trainer. Can you use more? Yes, you can. Are they necessary? Absolutely not. If you want the best, and not even deal with this stuff, go to Perfect Trainer, sign up, check out that six bucks a month, free one week so you can check it out. So give it a shot, you're gonna love it.